In this lesson, you will learn how to solve systems of linear equations graphically. Every point on a graphed equation is a solution to that equation. For example, if a line goes through the point 3, 4, that means when y is equal to 4, x will be equal to 3 in that equation. And a system of equations is a group of equations that is graphed on a single coordinate plane, and the solution is where those two lines intersect each other. So when you're looking at graphs of systems of equations and you're asked to find the solution, check to see where the two lines intersect. Let's look at the first example here. If you notice, these two lines, line M and line N, intersect at the point 0, 5. They intersect at one point, so that means this system has one solution. One intersection means one solution. Let's look at the second example. Here are two different lines. Here's line A in red and line B in blue. These two lines are parallel. They will never, ever, ever intersect, which means that parallel lines have no solution. Let's look at the last example. Here's the last one. And there are two lines here. One is red and one is blue. And they, con they completely or entirely overlap each other. And what does that mean? Well, it means that they're actually the same line. And if they're the same line, they will share every single point together, which means that this type of situation has infinite solutions. And uh, it has infinite solutions again because both lines will share every single point because they are the same line. So these are the three different outcomes you can have with a system of linear equations. They either intersect at one point, they never ever intersect because they're parallel, or they intersect at every point because they are the same line. Let's practice solving some problems for ourselves. Okay, we want to solve by graphing, and we've been given two equations here, so this is our system. You have y equals negative one-half x plus two, and the second equation is y equals negative one-half x minus three. And I'm going to begin by graphing the first equation. And if you notice, both equations are written in the form y equals mx plus b which means this constant term here represents the y-intercept, and I'm going to mark that in red. So if it has positive 2, the y-intercept has the coordinates 0, positive 2, which is right there on the graph. Then from there, you see the slope is negative 1 half, which means when you graph, you go down 1 and to the right 2 from your y-intercept. So let's go down 1, down 1 brings you to 1, over 2 brings you to the point 1, uh, I'm sorry, 2 comma 1. Now I'm going to connect these two points with a line. As you can see, you have equation number 1 represented by the red line on the graph. And now let's work with the second equation. I'll do this one in blue. Again, this constant term represents your y-intercept, which means if you have a value of negative 3, the y-intercept has the coordinates 0, negative 3. So let's go find that point on the graph. You go down 3 from the origin. 1, 2, 3. Okay, there's my y-intercept. And I'm going to look at the slope again. And you have a slope of negative 1 half, which means you go down 1 and to the right 1 from your y-intercept to get the second point. So down 1 to the right 1 brings me to the point right there. And I'm going to go ahead and connect these two lines, I'm um, sorry, these two points with a line as well. Now compare the line you get from equation 1 to the line you see for equation 2. These two lines are parallel and they, were, they will never intersect which means there is no solution. No intersection means no solution. You could have also notice something about these two equations that you were given that would have helped you see this way earlier before you even graphed it. Notice here that the slope is negative one-half. The slope here is also negative one-half. When two equations have the same slope, the lines are parallel and they will never intersect. Let's solve another problem together and I'm going to go ahead and erase the work we did for this first one. Okay, here you have the second system of equations that we're going to work with. And again, both of these equations are written in the form y equals mx plus b, so it's going to make graphing really easy. Let's go in and mark the first line with red. Notice that your y-intercept will be negative 1, which means it has the coordinates 0, comma, negative 1. And let's mark that point on the graph. There it is. 
Now, if your slope is 2, you can write this as 2 over 1, which means from the y-intercept, you go up 2 and to the right 1 to find the second point. So I'm going to go up to 1, 2, and over 1. That brings me to that point right there. And let me go ahead and connect these two points with a line. As you can see, the line for equation 1 is now in red on the coordinate plane. So let's go ahead and get the second equation going. Notice here that the y-intercept will have a value of positive 5, which means it has the coordinates 0, positive 5. And let's mark that point. There it is. Now, you look at the slope. You have a slope of 3 halves, or 3 over 2, which means you're going to go up 3 and over 2 from the y-intercept. And let's do that. You go up 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect these two points with a blue line. Now that the blue line is in, I see that these lines do intersect. And it's a little difficult to see, but they intersect right here at the point 12, 23 or when x equals 12, y equals 23. So that means this system of equations, and you've determined this graphing, has one solution. Let's solve one last problem together. Let me erase this work. Here's the third system of equations. You have y equals x plus 4 on top, and then y equals x plus 8 over 2 on bottom. Let's work with the uh, first equation here and get that graphed in. Again, y equals mx plus b, so the y-intercept has the coordinates 0, 4. And let's mark that. Oh, I still have some marks from the old graph. Let's go mark the new point. Here it is, 0, 4. Now, since x has a coefficient of 1, you write this as 1 over 1 for the slope, which means you're going to go up 1 and to the right 1 from the point 0, 4. So up 1 and to the right 1 is right there. And I'm going to make another point because these are pretty close together. And now I'm going to connect them with a line. All right, there's the line for equation 1. Now let's work with equation 2. The first thing I notice here is that you have a term 8 divided by 2, and that can be simplified. So this whole equation I'm going to rewrite as y equals x plus 8 divided by 2, which is 4. Now you're going to go in and you're going to start with your y-intercept, which has the coordinates 0, 4 which is, we already found that point, it's right there. And now you have the slope of 1 again, right? There's no coefficient there, so you assume it's 1. 1 over 1, which means you're going to rise 1 and go to the right 1. So again, go up 1 to the right 1, go up 1 to the right 1, and let's draw this line in blue. OK, look at the graph now. Notice how the two lines completely overlap each other, and that means they will share every single point. So any line, uh, any points that fall on line 1, line 2 will also have. So this means that this system of equations has infinite solutions. Now you could have seen this a little bit earlier as well, and this is how. Look at the first equation. You had y equals x plus 4. The second equation had y equals x plus 8 over 2. And once we simplified that, we got y equals x plus 4. Notice that these two equations are exactly the same, which means that if they're the same equation, you're going to get the same line. And the same line has infinite solutions. So in this lesson, you've learned how to graph systems of equations to find the solution. Thanks for watching.